Hello, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for cosplay for the character Mello from Death Note. This is the adult version, so it means that I'm going to be doing the scar makeup. I'm going to start by putting in contact lenses because Mello has blue eyes. Two different colored eyes. Look at me, I'm a husky. These are from a website called loveshoppingholics.com and uh, they're actually gray, they're not blue, but in white light they look really blue. So now I am going to move on and I'm going to use liquid latex for the burn. Mellow's burn is on his left side, so that's where I'm going to start. This is just regular liquid latex from a Halloween store. I start by just putting on a base coat of this stuff. And when it starts getting tacky, it will start pulling up. I apologize for the state of my room. It's pretty messy. When it starts pulling up, it's kind of nice because it makes it look pretty textured. And that's what we're looking for. Be careful when going around your eyes, especially if you have contacts in, because your eyes are more sensitive. Don't get it in your eyelashes, because that's a pain. By the way, I always get it in my eyelashes. Once it's on your eyelid, you're going to want to pull it down. Now I'm going to put on a second layer, which is going to make it more tacky. Once it starts drying a little bit, If your eyelid gets too sticky and you can't really close it all the way, you can just take a little bit of water and massage your eyelid. Try to loosen it up a little bit. A lot of people like to cosplay Mello with his scar coming all the way down his neck, and I am one of those cosplayers. I don't think it's actually in the canon. If you let it get tacky and then pull it apart, it'll do some nice webbing and gapping. The next thing I'm going to do is be putting foundation on my not burned side, ivory, which is pretty pale. After doing the liquid foundation, I'm going to do some of this kind of foundation just to set it. It takes away some of the shine, so for photography and for video, it's pretty useful. Just take regular black eyeliner, and I'm just going to do my waterline. Next, I am doing just darker colored concealer. Normal skin, <laughs> that's funny. Using normal skin, real human skin is in this bottle and applying it to my face. As you can tell, I definitely know a lot about makeup. By the way, I apply everything with my hands. And then I'll go back through and apply another coat. Now that I feel like I've got even coverage, I need to wait for this to dry. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to do a little bit of makeup on my lips. 
So as I stated in my L makeup tutorial, I have really big lips, if you haven't noticed, and they're very pink. And this is kind of the curse of the cross player, the female cross player. Matte lip color or matte lip color, you know, depending on what you want to call it. Uh, this stuff works pretty well, but it also kind of leaves a residue, so you have to be careful and watch and make sure it doesn't look gross. It's just plain moisturizer. I feel like I should put a Doctor Who reference in here somewhere. Moisturize me. The next step is shadowing in your scar area. I use this regular brown, which I use for everything. Uh, really cheap stuff. Studio M is what the brand is. Regular makeup brush. And I'm going to use it to put in all of the low areas. This makes your scar look more textured. I've got a, a random matty in there. It looks a lot darker once you put the eye shadow on. Now I'm gonna put on my weave. <laughs> This is my mellow weave. Got a little Maddie in the background there. <laughs> this is a wig from Arda, and I think it was the Magnum Long and Platinum Blonde. So, yeah. I'll get my back. <laughs> if you have any requests, I'm already doing Sebastian sometime, also Gamzee. So if there are any other ones you can think of uh, that you want me to do, I can see what I can do. Okay, thank you for watching. Say bye, Maddie. Bye! Hey, where's Matt? I scalped him.